Well, good morning. Uh, today, uh, Sunday, May 17th, and um, I sure am missing seeing you guys, and I hope to see you soon. Um, we're um, still, we're starting church today, uh, 9 o'clock and 11 o'clock, and um, hopefully uh, you'll be here with your families. If not, um, I hope to see you uh, very soon. But um, we're going to still go ahead and do our Sunday school lessons since we're not having Sunday school yet. Um, so we'll still have those um, online um, for you to, to view your Sunday school lessons. So uh, this week, our lesson title, I'm going to tell you part of it because part of it is a question I want you uh, to listen for in our Bible story video. But uh, we're going to uh, be talking about uh, Jesus, his teaching. And the, the lesson is Jesus taught in, and if there's a town, I want you to listen for in our Bible story video, the rest of our uh, story title. But our Bible passage for today is the book of Luke, chapter 4. So grab your Bibles and um, uh, get that open to uh, the book of Luke, chapter 4, and read through that whole chapter uh, about our Bible story uh, today. So looking back at our other lessons, um, after Jesus was baptized and tempted in the wilderness, he called his disciples and began his public ministry. And we learned last week that uh, Jesus traveled around uh, teaching people and amazing things about God. And uh, people came to Jesus and he healed them. And not only physically, but he heals us uh, spiritually. He heals, uh, heals us from our sin, that we uh, need him so desperately. So uh, this week, we'll learn what happened when Jesus went back to where he grew up and uh, to teach people about himself. And um, I want you to listen uh, as we watch our Bible story video in the town that Jesus grew up in. So take a look at our Bible story video. Jesus went to the town of Nazareth where he had lived when he was a boy. Now Jesus was grown. He traveled all around teaching people about God. On the Sabbath day, Jesus went to the synagogue in Nazareth. The synagogue was a special building where Jews met together to pray, worship, and learn about the scriptures. Jesus stood up to read scripture. He unrolled the scroll of the prophet Isaiah and read, The Spirit of the Lord is on me. He has chosen me to tell good news to the poor. He has sent me to tell the captives that they are free, to tell the blind that they can see, to free people who have been treated badly, and to announce that the Lord's favor is on us. Then Jesus rolled up the scroll. He gave it to the attendant and sat down. Everyone in the synagogue stared at Jesus. Jesus said, today, as you listen to me reading these words, they came true. The people said good things about Jesus and they were amazed at him. But some of the people in Nazareth had known Jesus from his youth. Isn't this Joseph's son? They asked. Jesus said, no prophet is accepted in his hometown. Jesus told the people about times when God used prophets to help people who were not Jews. He reminded them of Elijah and Elisha. When there was a terrible famine in Israel and no rain fell there for three and a half years, plenty of widows in the country needed help. But the prophet Elijah did not help the widows in Israel. Instead, God sent Elijah to help a widow in another land. And when Elisha was a prophet, many people in Israel had leprosy. They wanted to be healed, but Elisha did not heal them. Instead, he healed a man named Naaman. And Naaman was from Syria, a country that hated God's people. The people in the synagogue were angry. They forced Jesus out of town. They wanted to throw him off a cliff, but Jesus walked right through the crowd and went on his way. Hundreds of years before Jesus was born, the prophet Isaiah wrote about God's plan to send a Messiah. The Messiah would bring good news and redeem people who were broken and hurting. Jesus read Isaiah's words and announced that he is the promised Messiah. Okay, so, um, you know, one of my favorite things uh, about 
about the Bible is how it all fits together in one story. We have talked about this in Sunday school, how our Bible uh, starts with the Old Testament and it ends with the New Testament and all that is together. It's one big story. And um, the Old Testament tells uh, about Jesus in the New Testament when he is uh, born in the New Testament. And so, uh, you know, Jesus proved that when he read from the scroll of, of Isaiah in our, in our Bible story. Um, it said that uh, there would, the, that the scripture said that there would be someone anointed by God to bring good news uh, for me and you and everybody in the world. And uh, Jesus explained that he uh, is the one that Isaiah had written about 700 years earlier. Um, and Jesus taught that he is the Messiah that is talked about in the Old Testament of our Bible. And God's plan all along was to use the nation of Israel. We've talked about that before uh, in Sunday school in our past lessons. God promised to bless them, uh, to bless them, to bless the world. And over time, many of the Jewish people, we saw that in our video, um, began to see God's blessings um, as something just for them. But it wasn't uh, just for them, but for other people, other nations. And uh, Jesus was reminding them that God's love doesn't stop with the Jewish people, uh, but it extends to all people, to every one of us. And um, so that, that goes into our big picture question that last week was our first week of it. So maybe you'll remember the answer, but let's take a look at it. What makes people special? What makes people special? And um, so uh, let's see if you remember that answer on that. People are special because we're made in God's image as male and female to know him. Okay, God has made us in, in his image. Um, so um, our key passage, um, hopefully you remember it. It's one that you probably already know. We talked about that this week, uh, John 3.16. So uh, let's take a look at our uh, key passage. For God loved the world in this way. He gave his one and only son so that everyone who believes in him will not perish but have eternal life. John 3, 16. And um, our key passage reminds us uh, of the gospel, uh, that God showed his love for people by sending Jesus. And uh, Jesus is God's son, and everyone who believes in him will live with God forever and um, have eternal life. What a promise uh, in John 3, 16 that God has given us in his word. All right, uh, let's take a look at our Bible story picture today. And um, we saw in our video, our Bible story video, um, the people were angry uh, at what they were hearing of Jesus' teaching. And, um, but there's Jesus um, teaching um, in the synagogue. Do you remember, uh, I told you to pay attention on um, the town where Jesus grew up. Do you remember what it was? It starts with an N. Nazareth. That's right. And that's part of our title is Jesus Taught in Nazareth. And that's where uh, he grew up. And um, so he went back to the town that he grew up in and, and, and started his ministry and teaching there. All right. Um, our story point uh, for this lesson, Jesus taught that he is the Messiah. And uh, we talked in past lessons uh, just like we talked about earlier in the Old Testament, um, it was pronounced that there was a Messiah coming. And um, so Jesus taught that, that He is the Messiah. He is our rescuer. And um, so He has come for us. God sent Him, just like John 3.16 says, for you and me. All right. So hundreds of years before Jesus was born, the prophet Isaiah wrote about God's plan to send a Messiah. The Messiah would bring the very best news for all of us and a redeemed people uh, who that has sin has broken us, that sin has hurt us, and uh, Jesus rescues us from that sin and only Jesus. Jesus read Isaiah's words and announced that he is the promised Messiah. 
what a great book our Bible is that tells us all about that and uh, God's plan for you and me. And um, what a great promise. All right. A great lesson Jesus taught in Nazareth, his hometown where he grew up. And uh, the book of Luke, chapter 4. And um, so I want you to make sure that you, you are reading your Bible every single day. It's so important. And I'm talking to myself as well. Um, God wants us to do that. He wants us to know us. And um, that's how we get to know Him, is praying to Him and reading our Bible. So make sure that you're getting your Bible out every day. All right, so um, I hope you've been enjoying uh, the games uh, that we have on our website. I want to uh, tell you about a new one. This is a, a little different access, but uh, you can download uh, this one on your, on your own or with your parents' help. And um, it is actually, um, I know you know that uh, we send shoe boxes to little boys and girls all over the world uh, to share the gospel, the very best news uh, for, for them, who is Jesus Christ. And so uh, this game is from uh, Samaritan's Purse. And so you'll go uh, and download it. And it's a Bible game. Uh, it's really good. I, I downloaded it uh, yesterday, and um, I like it. And it's got all your great Bible stories and just questions and lots of fun games with um, Old Testament and New Testament Bible stories. So uh, it is um, SamaritansPurse.org backslash TGJ dash app. So I hope that you like that, but it's the greatest journey game. And um, they call it that because that's their, um, we went through this on Wednesday night during the summer. Uh, the Greatest Journey uh, book that kids go through when they receive their shoebox. And the gospel, the very best news, is presented to them through this um, uh, eight-week course that they go through with The Greatest Journey. So that's, that's a game that you can go down, download and play um, at home. So I hope that uh, you are doing so great. And I'm praying for you. I love you. And I hope to see you very soon. Have a great day.